lot of people think that I want to give people things for nothing, and that's going to spoil people. The fact that you're born in America, you have nothing to do with the airplane, the telephone, the railways. It's all here, and you're lucky because you inherited that. Just being born here, that doesn't spoil you. So there's really no basis for crime, since anyone can access anything they need. No one's going to hit you on your head and take your wallet because there's no money in it anymore. The monetary system has been surpassed. And when we have that kind of abundance economy, most of us will be able to spend most of our time doing the things we enjoy doing. The kinds of things that you might have seen the Athenians do during their golden age. They had human slaves take care of their basic needs. We can do it with robots. Amazing. And what would you suggest the cooks and housewives of the world do with all that extra time? There's an island called Isle of Man. On that island, there's a stream down below, and the women wear a harness. And they go down and get two buckets of water and climb up to their home up there, where they boil and cook food. The women have to skin animals and, and get the animal fat out to operate their lamps. And if someone said to the women, someday you'll turn a gadget and water will flow at whatever speed you want, without you having going down to the river. And someday, you'll press a button and the lights will go on. And you won't have to skin animal fat. And the woman says, yes, but what will women do? People will get engaged in how to live, how to relate, to travel, scuba diving, restoring the reefs of the oceans that we damage, cleaning the ocean and the atmosphere. So much we don't know, and you go back to school free of charge, and every city will be a university city where you're updated on what's new.